Cecilia Fru, and I'm head of U.S. Prepaid at Visa, which uh, includes all the consumer products, corporate, government, and healthcare. Visa launched a new prepaid designation, um, and we did it because there's a lot of confusion out there on prepaid cards. Quite often people don't understand the fees, there's a lot of fees, um, not all the same consumer protections. So what we've done is create a standard um, that really simplifies the fees and gives the consumer all the confidence of the consumer protections. So we're quite excited about it. We think it's going to help um, this underserved consumer quite a bit. We spent a lot of time with our clients who are very enthusiastic about this, um, with the regulators and with consumer advocacy groups. In particular, CFSI and Pew Charitable Trusts were really instrumental in helping us frame out the product and think through the more complicated issues. So, um, so I think the consumer was looking for a different alternative, a different alternative than what they traditionally had at a bank account with checking. So you've got a segment of people who are using this a prepaid account as a substitute checking account. They're getting their pay direct deposited, they're paying bills, they're making uh, purchases with their card. Um, and then I think there's also another segment um, that's really about spending control. So I put a certain amount of money on the card and it helps control my spending. It, it literally, when the money run, runs out, then I, uh, I stop spending. Just like prepaid has evolved over the last several years, we're seeing really interesting innovation um, on features and functionality as well. So an example is, um, I can take a picture of a check and I can choose to either deposit it and uh, wait for funds availability or I can cash it for a fee. And, um, and that is something that, the, that this kind of un and underbanked segment needs quite often is cashing of their check. So it's less expensive, it's faster than a check casher. So that's one example of the innovation um, and there's, there's a handful of other um, areas that we're also exploring. One of the pieces that's interesting is all the innovation happening around what we call fintech. So interesting applications being developed by entrepreneurs around things like education, but gamification of education, or savings tools, making it as easy as possible to save, even if it's in little amounts. All of these things pulled together um, can create a, a really good future for people as they build out their finances. So we are, we are working with um, um, partners in the industry on those exact things. Well, I, you know, I can't speak to banks in general, but what I can speak to is our clients. And what we see our bank clients doing is um, generating products that meet this customer's needs. So they're, they're starting to get into this area. They understand now better who this customer is. So for instance, Pew, uh, Charitable Trusted Research, that basically said 60% of the people that use a prepaid card have a checking account. And so this is their customer. And so they're, they're really, the more the research comes out, they're learning more about their customer and want to adapt to really serve them better.